begin tonight with the search for a suspect in a deadly shooting on the northeast side. Two brothers shot here on North LaSalle Street. We can tell you one of those brothers did not survive his injury, sadly, while the other still fighting in the hospital. Thank you so much for joining us live at 5. I'm Fanchen Stinger. And I'm Dan Spieler. Police are still trying to piece together exactly what happened here and find the person responsible. Fox 59's Courtney Spinelli has more tonight. It just shocks our community. It shocks our neighborhood. We were not used to hearing anything like that. A mid-afternoon shooting inside this home on North LaSalle Street Wednesday sent one man to the hospital and left another dead. Somebody did lose their life and that may be a brother, maybe a father, maybe a son. Um, there's somebody to someone. The victim who died has been identified as 26-year-old Terrell Reed. And we now know the man who survived the shooting is his brother. It's just sad. Anytime one violence happens and anybody losing their life. Investigators have released few details in what may have led up to the shooting at this home. Evidence markers and bullet holes now paint a picture of the deadly act of violence that rocked this northeast side neighborhood. We heard the rapid gunfire and it was alarming to us all around here in the neighborhood. Reverend James Black, a chaplain and community activist, lives just one street over from where this happened. He works to help promote peace in the community, but says it needs to start with people coming forward when they see something. Just sitting in your window looking out and seeing the crime, we can't just sit down and let that happen. We need to speak up. If you see something, say something. While neighbors say they're left with an uneasy feeling over what happened so close to home, they know it doesn't compare to the pain being felt by the family of these two men. It's just shocking, so hopefully we get back to that quiet pace of life and, and uh, we can figure out what happened a couple doors down. In the meantime, just hold your loved ones a little tighter. Reporting on the Northeast Side, Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News. Now, again, no one has been arrested, and police are still trying to gather information about a suspect in this case. If you know anything at all about what happened, please call Crime Stoppers, the number 317-262-TIPS. You can do so anonymously.